Hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and welcome back with more Sanctus Mortem. Let's continue. And we're just gonna do this. Oh, right, so I believe we're actually supposed to head for the planet Elohim. But let's go. Uh, the weapons bay, maybe? Do I have, yeah, I have some credits, some stuff to sell, maybe. Let's see, you gonna say anything new? No. Let's do this. Not that I need um, ship up. Oh, get out of my way, dude. Not that I need ship upgrades right now, but let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard it already. Mm, let me see if I can sell. Uh, I can sell that and that. And oh, I don't want to sell that. But that at least gives me enough for the pulse cannon upgrade. Uh, after that, the only upgrade the you know, tier two upgrade that I'll need is the uh, plasma torpedo. So let's go ahead and upgrade the pulse cannon. All right, which upgrades the ship's normal attack. Not that we're going to be using the ship right yet, but we're going to head to Elohim, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a thing. Move, bitch! Get out the way! So this is the star map where you can choose from des uh, destinations. You can actually return to Star Station 5, which I'm actually going to do right now. Mostly because there's a couple items. Now, like, it's interesting, uh, when I was watching New Fibon, the Let's Play, and we went to start, you know, he, he first returned to Star Station 5, he's like, hey, how come it's in the same spot? And what's interesting is I actually had that same reaction when I was uh, testing the game, and I was like, shouldn't we move it? You know, why is it in the same spot? And Tanya was like, what are you talking about, you know? And then I realized that you that's the first time you view the, um, the star chart. You didn't see where it was on the map previously, so it didn't move. <laughs> or right, technically, it, it, it did move, it's just you, you didn't see where it was before. So, yeah. Oh, there's Payton. Let's talk to him. Hey there, name's Payton. I'm trying to fix this damn thing. That's what I do. I fix the monitors and displays around the station. So Payton's our head of QA. Our old head of QA turned out to uh, uh, just not not good. It was not good. Dude, dude was just not good. And uh, he left, which is good because we were talking about replacing him anyway. And uh, we actually offered the job to Payton, who um, was really just a fan who worked with us on some like multimedia projects. And uh, he just took to he took to it really well. I mean, I know that Payton's all like, oh, I'm not good at good at QA and whatnot. But actually, you know, he, he works really hard, which is what, what's important, you know, and, and he is doing a good job. So that's another developer we found. But the main reason that I came back here is all these are restocks. There's a re neurostimulant. What, what are you, you? You can't be there. You got to move. capsule. No, 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 no. You, you can't be in there, woman. Alright, now, now, any direction other than down. There we go. Wow. What a fail. Oh, there's Marielle. She's not singing. I guess she's uh, doing a mic check. Uh, the RPS guy is gone. Because there's, there's one chance to get that. We passed it. I know when you come back here, Marielle's performing again. Um, but th like I said, this is just, just get items. There's a Corinth Shard. Okay. Corinth Shard, I believe, restores psionic points. So. Yeah. Oh, He said, mainly just here to get some items. I'll head to deck three real quick. There's no reason to go on the bridge, really. Actually, there might not even be a reason to go to engineering. But yeah. Oh, there's this... There's Zara's replacement. I've been promoted to chief engineer. I hope I can do Zara proud. Okay. So there's that. It shows that they do indeed have a new chief engineer on Star Station 5. So let's actually, oh, sorry, I was looking, uh, looking down at the clock. 
let's actually head to Elohim like we're supposed to now. Like I said, I just want to pick a couple of free items and show you that Payton's hanging out there. Um, the next time we come, he'll still be there, but that's the earliest that you can see Payton. Alrighty then. Let's talk to this guy real quick, I don't know. What an odd feeling to know that this star station is no longer part of the Thracic Empire. Well, sucks, doesn't it? Alright, so let's actually do this. We're going to go to Elahim. Which is that green planet right there. A planet of trees. Okay, so we're going to hack up some of the wildlife here. Uh, before I go fighting anything, there's a couple of items. It's just that there's a capsule, and I think it's it on this screen, actually. So, yeah, this works pretty similar to Chronicles of the Dark Lord 2. You just walk up to an enemy and it starts a battle. These are Sarakens. Oh, i got to equip that ice on before I... Oh, nice crit, Hector. Before I completely forget to... Thank you for shooting him, Xanth. Oh yeah, let's give it to Xanth. Xanth can now use ice. Alright, so here we have Malchoris. Malchoris, I guess. The enemies here aren't particularly tough. Um, if you're finding yourself having a hard time, you can always run back to the ship and heal. Or just power forward and go past the mob. There's a save point. And you can heal up at the save point and then go back and fight all these guys again. There's another new enemy. These are Mentodeuses. Oh, wrong button. Wow. We even made them two, two different colors and I still hit it. Oh yeah, these guys are resistant to weapons. Let's show off for just here. Edgar doesn't have a force so. Let's do Ignis. Good night, sleep tight, you are. Alright, Selena's reached level 3. Just Selena, huh? Oh, I might have skipped the other. Yeah, I was hitting the button pretty rapidly. Alright, they all reached level 3. Alright, we got more Sarakins. I was hitting the button awful fast there. Which I should probably not do. All right, Malkoris. I'm gonna have you use Frigis. All right, so Selena can finish it off with the ball. Hooray! And a Mantodeus and a Malchorus. Wow, that missed up. And you can actually use the um, on an Xbox controls the X button to toggle certain spells. So if you want to, you know, spread them out to attack everything, you can do that. It does make them weaker, but if you want to hit everything, there's certain circumstances where you do want to do that. And some more Sarakins. Definitely the easiest enemy to see here. Alright, we're on to the next area, and I'm just gonna make a beeline for the treasure chest. And then we'll kill everything. An Alpha Root. Uh, so an Alpha Root is actually a really good item. It basically gets rid of all status ailments. So, really good item to have. 
Or Sarah can. These guys are considered chops. As long as you can do the time to hit, even Sling, you can easily take them out in one turn. Alright, Mantodeus and a Malchorus. I'll show you the uh, toggle thing. Anything, see how it says deals minor ice damage and it says toggle. Anything that says toggle, you just press the X button. You can hit all of them. It does less damage, but I think I was able to finish off, finish off the uh, Malto Deus and uh, also hit the other guy. Alright, we got a Saric we got a Sarakin, a Dioscipula, and a Marcorus. The Dioscipula is a new enemy. Uh, it's actually target this guy since he's gonna attack first. Oh, he got it in anyway. But he was ready to attack. Uh, Alright, why don't you use Ignis? And by the way, when you do what I just did and you, um... I'm gonna show you something real quick here. Okay, so you see here how it's showing on the upper right hand and you can see where the Serakin is. Now if I go out of this and I go to say tech and I change my mind I go to attack. It's actually not doing it now. It might be only certain enemies. Sometimes they'll jump forward a little bit when they're being indecisive, basically because you're taking a while to choose what you're doing. Um, the enemy can jump forward a little bit. It's, o it's only a very small amount, but it's important to know. Alright, a Manto Deus and a Dioscipula. Let's try to take this guy out because he's right here. And be sure to keep an eye, especially when it does get a little tougher on that upper right hand corner. When you highlight enemies, it shows you where they are on the bar. And the ones that are further to the right are going to attack sooner. Alright, so we got a Sarakin, a Dioscipula, and a Malchorus. Alright, I'm going to actually go ahead and. Let's just get rid of this guy because he can get killed real quick. I was very indecisive there, so I got smacked up. Let's heal everybody. Nice. It's actually not a hard game to just power through, but if you use tactics and a little bit of strategy to it, it's a lot easier. You kind of know what you're doing. All right, so we got a Sarakin and Malchorus and a Mentodeus. I probably should not have had that here for the weakest one, but whatever. It's actually worth it. Xanth might be able to take him out, and then I can use Ignis on this guy. Like I said, oh, and you see how Xanth is low in um, psionic points. I could very easily regenerate them. Every time his turn comes up, you choose to regenerate. Now you notice that some characters get more... Oh, everybody's hitting level 4. I was hitting the button too fast. Uh, everybody kind of gets a different amount of psionic points from... Um... I'm going to show you here. Like, I'm going to have them all regenerate. So like, see, Hector regenerates and he gets 6. Selena regenerates, she gets 21. That's a lot more. And Xan will be somewhere between the two. Nine. So basically, it's just a percentage of your max. It always, it actually tells you. Um, not here, but somewhere else in the game, it tells you like what the percentage is. But anyway, yeah, it's it, it's only a percentage. So that's why, as you level up, uh, you get more back, and characters with less psionic points, like Hector, for example, they get less back. But it's still a percentage of their overall. Okay, so that's that area cleared out. I think it's all cleared out. Yeah, there it's all cleared out. Okay, I'll just pick up this guy. Two Sarakins, these guys are chunks. What the fuck, Selena? Low dice rolls on that one. Selena. 
You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to kill the monsters. Right. Just trying to weaken them and capture them in a Pokeball. Alright, we got a Sarakin, a Malchoris, and a Mantodeus. Alright, All right, do it right this time. These guys are not possible. See, that's how you do it. I try to use uh, avoid using items as much as I can, mostly because you don't need to. You want to save items for you know major boss battles because that's where you're really going to need them. All right, so here we are at the Ilana Research Center. What in God's name happened here? What are those things? Some kind of catastrophic malfunction, I would estimate. I advise caution, Captain. Hold on a second, guys. Just trying to make myself a little more comfortable. All right, so let's first do this. We'll save it, why not? And let's start clearing us out some zombies. Actually, mutants, but... Rigmort! These things are pretty easy to kill. Um, and since there's a save point right there, we can pretty much just go all out with attacking and spells if you want, and then just come back to the save point and tell me more. So first I'm gonna just clear out this whole outer portion. Did you notice humanoid enemies do leave corpses when you kill them? Occasionally, like Nufi Vega noticed that occasionally when you leave an area and you come back and the corpses move. And there's actually a good reason for that. The game engine's logic is supposed to place corpses in very specific points, but sometimes it drops them where they're not supposed to be. See, so like, watch, let me come out and come back again. And you see that they're actually supposed to be there. So sometimes that happens. Um, and it basically prevents you from getting stuck by like a corpse dropping in a place that could um, drop you, could get get you uh, you know completely stuck, which would be bad. We actually did a lot of testing and retesting and changing things around to make sure that you never get blocked off by corpses in this game. I still managed to do it at one point. It was this is one point, and I'll actually point it out later. In the, uh, I was a mutant, by the way, not a Rigmore. I'll point it out. There's this, a specific point in the game. Are there any left? I think there's one. Yeah, there he is. That's a she, actually, isn't it? That's a mutant, yeah. Um, where I managed to get myself stuck by corpses. And it, there was really no way to fix it. So what we had to do was not have corpses in that area. You put a whole story reason in why there wouldn't be persistent corpses. Let's go in here. This must have been caused by the initial malfunction of whatever they were trying to do here. Let's see how much we can find out from that screen display. Well, first we're going to clear out the monsters. And then we're going to get an item, and then we'll look at the screen displays and prioritize here. Let's get ourselves another mutant. Oh, nice. Crit Zan. It's interesting, Xanth's attack, I think, is actually lower than Hector's, but he often does more damage. Um, not right now, but he often will do more damage because he often gets better weapons. It's interesting the way that works out. Let's take this one out. Right, got ourselves a rig mort. He's very proud of holding onto his one sock. Lost the other one. It's a shame. Such a shame. Maybe he had a friend who had no socks and he gave him the one sock and now they both have one sock. Maybe that's what happened. Alright, so we got ourselves another Corinth shard. Let's check this out. Reinitializing base code. Negative. Rezael signature response. Negative. So now we do know that this place does have something to do with the Rezael particle. Alpha stage is incomplete due to zero response from tertiary level. Avalonia core has been destabilized due to unknown elements present within the system. Okay. So you can see clearly they were trying to do something uh, revolving around the Rezael particle here, and clearly it went wrong. Dedicated to the finest scientists of the Lana Research Center, signed Empress Maya Evanier. Okay. Let's 
Okay, so we just got a couple more guys to clear out. There's no item. Well, there's one item, actually, I think, on the left. I don't actually look. I just think there is. Rigmore is pretty easy. To, these, these guys are, like I said. As long as you followed my advice up until now and you have the latest weapons and stuff, this is not hard. Yeah, oh, there's an item in the, the second room. Um, not hard. And like I said, you can just go back to the save point at any time. Here we got another Rigmore. Good night. And it is super important to kill every creature that you come across. Um, not only for experience, like some people I've noticed, uh, there's a Twitch streamer that was playing the game, and they were avoiding enemies in one of the dungeons where you're the ship. And uh, because you don't get experience when it's the ship you're controlling, you get only money. But you get a lot more money. And uh, I told him, I said, you really want to fight everything. It is this capsule. And uh, the reason is because then there were more upgrades and stuff that you really needed for the characters. Very important stuff. And it would have been very hard to afford it without fighting everything, you know. Corinth Shard was fun. There's only one point in the game, and it's way later, where it's even feasible to grind at all. And generally speaking, you don't have to grind. There's no grinding at all. Alright, so I got myself a Neurostimulant. A Neurostimulant, I don't know if I've mentioned, it's basically like a like a revive or like a like a Phoenix Down type of thing. Oh wait, before I go in there, let me save it. This is gonna be one mad dash out of here, you guys. In I go. This looks like the primary lab. If we wanna any more if we wanna do any more exploring, I suggest coming back to this place last. Yeah, that's my idea. You gotta put some kind of warning in, you know. Uh, there we go. Status of Malak mutant factor confirmed. Rizal generator status corrupted. Let's grab that. And we got ourselves an energy vial. An energy vial is just like a like a better capsule, basically. All right, let's do this. What is this? According to the readouts, this is what's known as a Rizal generator. A generator? Is this the source of the Rizal particle? I would surmise that is what is being used to try and create one, yes. Why do you say try to create one? Being that this is a research center, I think we are observing an experiment of some sort that went awry. If they had succeeded in generating a Rizal particle, things would not look this way. Oh, well, gee, you think? So these mutations we've been fighting, are they... Very likely they are the researchers themselves, having been mutated by their attempt at creating a Rizal particle. This is so horrible. Yet we still don't know what this particle is or what it is supposed to do. We could try powering this generator up to learn more about the particle. The answers we seek might be right here in front of us. Why do we get the feeling that's not the best of ideas? What is to stop the generator from mutating us as well? Good question, and one I'm not eager to know the answer to. Duly noted, and a good point. To avoid harming ourselves, perhaps powering up only the connectors and not the overall mechanism would suffice? That sounds like it would be less of a risk. What do you think, Counselor? Sounds a bit safer to me. I'd say let's try it. We need more information, and this is the best way to get it. Okay, here we go. Powering connectors. Intriguing. Is this normal? I'm not going to... I'm going to pretend like it is. It looks like this system's power distribution is pinpointed here. This must be the terminal access point for the whole system. I wonder if... Uh, what'd you touch, Sam? Uh, what'd you do? What in the hells? The system is restarting the Rizal creation sequence on its own. Let's get out of here. Son of a... Whatever comes out of those things will kill us if we stay. We've got to go quickly. Oh yeah, so if you touch those bugs, it's, uh, it's a game over. So we're just gonna, we're gonna mad dash out of here. Uh, 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 tree planet's now bug planet. Oh yeah, they're coming. Look at that, we got a big one. No, 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 no. No more bugs, especially gigantic ones. Prepare yourselves. 
Alright, we gotta fight the Diaspid. Uh, so I believe Ice hurts him in the first one. So not Xanth uses Scion. Oh, that Wallop can really suck. That lowered his uh, speed. I believe it's Ice first and then Fire. Oh no, it's Fire and then Ice. I did like nothing. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Okay, so once it changes color like that, now it's weak to ice, and that should be just curious. I just got his speed back at something I've lost hers. This thing's very easy. Even if you just don't know the weaknesses, just attacking it. That's fine. Oh, he was supposed to. That's okay. He does nearly as much damage with his weapon. Wow, Chris. We get an Omega Solution, which is uh, basically like, a, like an elixir, right? Like, it just heals everybody. You know, it's like a mega elixir kind of thing. And the Lightning One Scion. And everybody's hitting level 5. I hit the button too fast, but everybody's hitting level 5. Let's go away before the fucking army ants kill the shit out of us. Well, that was instructive. Hey, he's the Empress. People of the Thracic Empire, it is I, your Empress. Yay, yay, we can't see you, you're too far up. It is unfortunate that I must be the one to tell you this, but the crew of the IWS robe have betrayed us. Boo, boo, Hector sucks, he's an ass. They thought that we were losing this war and conspired with the Zynetheans to destroy one of our star stations. You really just gonna lie like that, Maya? People like you are the reason Thanos out here snapping. I'm just saying. All those lives, gone because of Captain Hector and his crew. Wow, he sucks, what a shithead. These renegades will be found and executed for their treachery. <clears throat> Let it be known that their families also conspired with these traitors, and they too shall be found and put to death. Well, that seems a bit excessive, but alright, we'll just roll with it. Soon we shall have phase cannon technology. And with it, we will crush the Zynetheans and these traitors in one fell swoop. Yay! We like crushing things. May the glory of the Thracic Empire be eternal. All right. Ramses, Grand Admiral Balk, follow me. Of course, Empress. Yes, Exalted One. Bulk, I want those renegades brought here in chains and then publicly executed. Same goes for their families. I'll see to it, of course, Exalted One. How long until the generator is functional, Ramses? Could be hours, could be weeks. Daedalus was not happy with yesterday's test results, Empress. Daedalus just doesn't know how to push his people correctly. He is a genius, and you are a buffoon if you think that intimidation will make his people perform better. It couldn't hurt, considering how much you coddled him and his team. I do not coddle them, I let them work. You go on and continue to be the chief barbarian of your vaunted military, while our best and brightest create the face of God itself. Well, it'll be us barbarians that will win this war for you intellectual types when we get phase cannon technology. You have yet to create even a stable matrix, isn't that right? Phase cannon technology will only put us on a level playing field with the Zynetheans. It'll be the Rizal particle that will bring us absolute victory and dominion over all. If we left it to you and those scientists, we would have already surrendered by now. I'm going to enjoy watching you eat your words, Balk. Are you too done with today's bickering? Of course, my apologies, Empress. Forgive my impertinence, Exalted One. Please place your eye next to the scanner. Oh, no, your eye. Not the brown eye, the regular eye. Retinal scan confirmed. You may enter... Enter Empress Maya Evan. Duh. Cracking my shit up. There's Dayalis. 
Ah, welcome, Empress. Dailis, you better have something good to tell me. Bananas are an ex excellent source of potassium? I fucked it up. God. I do, in fact. The Matrix, to begin creation of the Rizal particle, should be stabilized by tomorrow. Finally, some progress. I realize that it has been frustrating for you, Empress. Rest assured that with what happened to Elohim, it will not happen again. It had better not, Daelus. Elohim was a disaster. Empress, I'm sure Daelus will take all the precautions to ensure the success of this mission. If you fail me, Daelus, I promise you, it will be the last thing you, you ever do. Yes, Empress. Understood. I'm heading to the war room. Ramsay, stay here with Daelus. Balk, you're with me. Yes, Empress. Of course, Exalted. The Empress is still not fully committed to this program. We need results soon or she may start listening again to that fool, Balk. I understand. If we lose the ear of the Empress, then all our aspirations will have been for nothing. Balk will lead our forces to ruin and our empire will be under the rule of the Zynethians. We will never let that happen, Ramses. Let us hope not, my friend. By the way, what can you tell me about the Renegades? All right, I'm actually going to stop right here and I'll see you guys real soon with more Sanctus Mortem.